Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I made my horns for my Ganyu cosplay. For the base I used these foam rings, and I used the middle size. First I cut out a rough shape to use as a base. Then I used some modeling foam to create the rest of it. Modeling foam is great because it's very pliable, it acts like clay and dries like foam. Another thing that it can be called is also foam clay. I have used this to create horns in the past and I absolutely love it. Very malleable, very easy to work with, and very easy to shape as well. For this I used a couple different methods, mostly my hand to shape things out and smooth things out. I kind of wanted it to be a little rougher and not completely perfect because I liked the effect of that. I also used the end of my X-Acto knife to smooth out any edges. And there we have two horns. For paints, I used a red acrylic paint, a black acrylic paint, as well as sealing with Mod Podge. The great thing about foam clay is that you don't need to seal it first. I chose to use a high gloss as the finish, which you'll see later. Now I'm just going to use a large brush and go over the top and then paint the bottom when the top dries. Now that it's painted on both sides, we're going to go over and fill any spots that we missed and do a nice second coat, just to make sure that the color is even on all sides. Ganyu has some really interesting designs on her horns, and I just went through and freehand painted everything. Basically, you're just going to want to stare at a reference image of her horns and try to, as best as possible, recreate that on the horn you have. The key is to go slow and carefully, and if you make any mistakes, you can always fix it up with black paint. To build up the color, I went ahead and put on five different layers of the red, simply because the red didn't have as much pigmentation as I wanted, but it looks really good after that. I also had to add in some extra lines that I forgot the first time. And here you can see it with the fifth and final layer, and I think the color comes out really nice. So here you can see one horn with the gloss finish and then one horn without any finish on top. The gloss also helps to protect the horn from damage and things like that. So I just went through and put on a really generous coating of the high gloss Mod Podge. I absolutely swear by adding a either gloss or matte finish to anything you're working on in Mod Podge because it really helps to protect your prop of any kind that you're making. All right, guys, we are so close. Now we're just going to hot glue on some clips to hold it to the hair. I use some nice Gorilla Glue uh, hot glue because it sticks really nicely. And then, yeah, I put on a generous amount of hot glue just to make sure that everything really, really stays. And then I put some extra lines around it to help hold it down and press it down when it wasn't so hot. And then here they are in my beautifully styled wig. I mean, at least I think it's beautifully styled anyways. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay along for the ride of me creating her entire costume. Rip.